Thanks for joining us on the news this hour. We begin in Lagos where 32 Sudanese have been intercepted by the Nigerian Immigration Service. The service says the deployment of their officers to various local government areas across the state made the interception possible. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano reports. The arrested Sudanese are kept in custody not far from the agency's main office in Alabon area of Lagos. The controller, his officers and journalists needed to walk down. Having reached where the Sudanese were held, they stepped out one after the other. We were told they were lured into Nigeria after paying 750,000 Sudanese pound. But on reaching Nigeria, the story changed. Rather, they were used to convince more of their nationals to pay and journey down even when there was no job for them. We have our DIOs. DIOs are divisional immigration officers attached to our local government across 774 local governments over the world. So through those, our officers were able to get this information that these people, Sudanese, were camped in their house. So it's a syndicate. So these two are just the, in, in the international collaborators. But we have other Nigerian syndicates. So we're going to bring them to book. We're on the trail of them. I'm very Though English language was a barrier, one of them was able to communicate. Uh, since uh, 8 July, there's a company called uh, Chris International Company called me and they said for me, we have a job for you. You must to come and work with us and we will pay for you uh, 1,000 US dollar for the month's salary. So after that, I told him how I can come there and uh, uh, exactly our country have a war. Uh, there's, um, there's Nigerian embassy not working there. They say for me, you have to come to uh, a chat in Jemena. We have a people there. They will cross you the, the border and, until you will reach here. So when I reach on Jemena, they have, uh, they have someone come and meet me there and take me to border up to reach me here. Their country representative says both countries have good bilateral relations. Now we are going to negotiate with uh, immigration. If they uh, release them, it's okay, you can go back. Anyone you want to go back, you can go back. You want to stay in Nigeria. Sudan, Nigeria is one. Having been ravaged by political instability, the poverty rate in Sudan rose from 64.6% in 2021 to 66.1% in 2022. Ivy Kano, CVC News, Lagos.